Welcome back to our United Chaos Challenge Mode. We have a slight problem. Pentaceratops is aggressive. Dislikes and threatens all other species. Pretty sure that means we can't put these guys in with the Coelophysis. So what I'm thinking we're doing is we gotta get the Coelophysis out of here. They should be fine up here, I think. Uh, let's test it, I guess. If the Coelophysis can still go in this pen and just be fine, then it doesn't really matter that much. I guess, yeah, we haven't ever tried them with the Aranos. Let's grab just one. Let's just grab a Coelophysis. They'll be unhappy, but uh, how about we grab one that can just get be gotten rid of? 52, 53, 50, how many do we have? 54, but the first six are missing. Damn, so over 40 still. Let's get this first Coelophysis here captured. And we're gonna get rid of a lot of these, I think. Uh, we could even potentially feed them to the Penta, sorta, let the Penta kill them, but. Oh, uh, but we should actually hatch these. Let's get these hatched. And yeah, we're gonna stick with the whole hatch all the eggs. We actually have $30 million. God, I wish I had $30 million IRL, that'd be fantastic. How about, yeah, seven on this by themselves is good. You gonna dart that guy? I know he's little, but like you can do it. There you go. All right, one Coelophysis. Just put him here in the water. See what everybody thinks about that. We still need, what, drinking a pato, I think? But that's entirely dependent on the car being in range when that happens, which is why it's never gonna happen. You know what, we have so much money, who even gives a shit? We can just uh, ignore contracts. Hello, Herrera. Honestly, if I ever make a bunch of money, I'm going to buy myself a replica Herrerasaurus museum piece just to have in like, my fucking living room. And uh, that'll make me happy. That'll bring joy into my life. That's Guys only want one thing, and it's absolutely disgusting. It's replica Herrerasaurus fossils. That's, that's entirely what it is. Uh, yep. I don't know why I'm on slow mode. I, I was like, these things should be going fast. What am I doing? Trope is viable. Scientists recovered. Okay, uh, so if this is the first recording post zip lines. Uh, we should research those if we can. Uh, nope, wrong tab. Attractions tab. Zip align. Because eh, you know they're new. We should be using them just for fun, if nothing else. Uh, I guess these three together, pretty bad, but whatever. And then the other guy can do fossils. So bad, but you know, could be could be worse. Give me you. That's it. Yeesh. Uh, four, two. Don't have many Tropognathus fossils floating around. I'm curious if we could fit a zip line in here. I think what we'll end up doing is doing a pretty big rebuild on this sector of the park. We clear these Coelophysis out. We cut this down substantially to make a little Pentaceratops bend. See if we can maybe put some zip lines in crossing it. Or something and then uh probably put the aviary in down here too on the tour maybe i don't know we'll see i, I think i'm going to stay away from putting the aviary up here just because i don't want to deal with having to put a station on the tour to exit where we just started researching it cryo we're working on it we, ha we have to complete the research it's going to be two minutes and then we have to figure out where it actually goes which might be even longer uh because we might need to clear space for it so but we'll de we're definitely putting in zip lines don't worry about that. It's definitely happening. Now, where is the Coelophysis? Right here. I should have seen if he had active status information. But it's probably... Ah, why does it keep going to the Chung? There we go. Coelophysis. Lonely. Yes. I need to see what his cohab is. His cohab is very bad. Okay, so no Coelophysis in here either. Um, not an option. Yeah, and there's nothing we can put in with the pentas. So we might have to do an enclosure specifically for the Coelophysis separate from everything else. We could easily put it in over here, actually. It wouldn't even be bad. This is probably what we'll do. We'll take this little area up, put like 10 Coelophysis in here on the tour, and call it a day. Although we got to make sure there's enough space back here for the cars to still get out. Maybe, we'll, maybe we won't do that. Because this, this is actually... 
Yeah, because we'd have to, it would have to be a little square like this, because we couldn't go back much further than that and still have the gate. Um, we'll figure something out. We'll figure it out. This guy we're just gonna sell, and we're gonna just start selling a bunch of these too. Oh Jesus! I think my my mouse was losing its mind. Pizza, pizza is the answer. Pizza is always the answer. There is no other answer. All right, there's our zip line as well. Oh, and the fossils. Wait, is this still waiting? Okay, so there's no icon on the side here when they're waiting to deliver, actually, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, so the zip line. We can sneak a zip line in here. Not bad, actually. And then run it like diagonal or something like that in front of the hatcher if we want to. Um, is there anywhere that's not really in view? Yeah, I mean, right now the zip line doesn't do anything for us. Everything is really well in view near the front. There's only these back corners, but we can't put a zip line in here. It wouldn't work. So we're going to have to re restructure before we can use the zip line. Um, but we'll find a way to put it in. No, not Hawaii pizza. I'm a basic bitch and I like pepperoni. Um, so let's get the fossils taken care of and then pause for a while while I start selling out the Coelophysis and figure out where I want to put them. They definitely go on the tour because they're the most benign carnivore. Actually, I'm going to look them up. We'll look up Coelophysis and see if they get eaten by like Tyrannosaurus. I assume they do, but maybe there's a chance that they don't. Uh, 67% only on Trapognathus. Damn. Damn, you really gotta do me like that, huh? That's a rough one. Okay, you do this. Uh, you rest. So that means we can't unlock any new species without the geneticist, so we won't worry about that. We'll just go ahead and do one of these. Alright, uh, then we'll pause for a while while I clear out little guys. Okay, we've got uh, territory issues in the herbivore pen, which is why we've got disease popped up here, because every dinosaur wants to live over here. Nothing wants to actually be by the trees, because they're a bunch of fuckwits who don't know how to take care of themselves. We're flying over the first wave of Coelophysis to a new enclosure. Uh, we'll see how well that works out. We'll also check on some of these other guys, start selling off the ones that are in Amazon Rainforest Caparanas. Uh, and the other ones can be sedated and prepared for moving i guess i uh, probably i mean we i don't intend to use all of these guys so we might have to we might be able to pick and choose um yeah you're svalbard papu you can go see 23 i think 25 is the the lowest we have for um good coelophysis Let's get these fossils going. Oh, this is all old fossils because none of the new stuff is in yet. Let's uh, pick the lowest tier stuff to try and clear space. That doesn't quite work, huh? Well, that's shit. Um, five. Yeah, okay. Oops. Wait. Oh, I missed the three. That's why. No, that's good. Okay, there we go. Do that. Uh, research. We should be able to do something. Oh, we don't have Velociraptor. That's 18 genetics. So we need a new geneticist. Five on the generalist. Five on faster synth. 721. One mil. Well, 721 seems a lot goddamn better. Okay, is that get us there, though? 8, 11, 16. All right. 8, 11, 16. 8, 11, 18. Scientist limit is 4, though, so that's actually fine. Um, all right, sure. How do we do big racks? Oh, we need the other guy back here, too. 
So we need fossil extraction person on that job. Whoops. Well, we'll do it because I want to do raptors soon too. So we'll, after these fossils process, we'll do that job. Huh. So is T-Rex like 12 genetics to unlock? It, it had to have been. Or was it an automatic because of the condition being so conditional? I honestly don't remember. Hmm. Um, are any of these guys on the ground? Okay, so let's check these gigs. I tried to panic them into the trees, which almost worked. Except now they're just back to walking around like idiots. Nowhere useful. Um, the apatos are missing stuff too. Like, God, how are you missing trees and forest? How are you missing both, you fuckwits? Urgh. Sure wish the video game worked like it used to. Because the AI is so goddamn bad, it's just annoying. Alright, a little bit of extra forest in here. Shrink the beach down marginally. That's a little extra forest for them. That's a little extra forest for these idiots so they can get over their common cold. Then at least they don't die. Yeah, same person health. Like, we have to do this because otherwise common cold is a ticking clock. They will fucking die. It's just, ugh. The fact that having your needs not met temporarily results in disease popping up is, is also just stacking bullshit on top of bullshit. Um, yeah. It sucks. Uh, the apatos are missing food. Tall leaf. I'm not sure if that's worth doing anything about. We can look at these idiots. They're like... Oh no, these are ground leaf. So they don't give a shit about nothing. We need to look at the chungs. Chungs are not very high on ground fruit. Yeah, so we can't actually really like sneak any extra plants in here for the apatos. We just gotta hope they move around. It's whatever. Uh, Coelophysis, are you guys? You are on the ground. Okay, lonely. You need a little bit of forest. Tiny amount of forest here for your um, your your uh, uh, who's a mawacha? Your your oasis. That's what I was making. An oasis. You know what? No, let's put decorative trees. This is there's too much tree. If we do that, it ruins the oasis vibe. I said uh, off. Recording, we were going to do that as, as decorative trees, and then I doubled back on that and didn't actually do it. Decorations! Trees! What is our options for trees that look like they belong in Oasis? The answer is none. These are all deciduous trees. We do tiny trees. I mean, tiny trees at least kind of fits the aesthetic. Obstructed by fucking what, my dude? We can also put them like on these little patches of grass that are still left over here, which kind of makes a vibe. Too close, too close. Well, why don't you just move? that works that's not bad open space is good forest is marginal more coelophysis are on the way uh but we'll, we're gonna just pack them in there as much as we can okay eight whoops did i sell eight i get uh, maybe no because i have to be on this first my brain failed for a moment wow what what exciting what exciting times um Okay, those ones are all going over. All right, let's do multi-select mode. One, two, nope, I have to click multi-select mode, so I fucked it up. Well, whatever, you go over here then. You, you're the lucky winner of getting delivered. Click multi-select mode. Click the multi-select. Every other Coelophysis in here should be worth saving. Four, five, a six. We deliver these six over here. And then basically when we reach capacity of this little pen, that's when we'll um, decide which ones to get rid of, I guess. We'll give the best. I don't think it's unreasonable to, like, 
the rule is hatch every egg, not keep every egg, right? We talked about this in a previous park build, I think, or maybe in this one, and I think that sticks. Uh, are you drinking? I'm standing by the water, not drinking though. That's a chung. There's a gigant going over there. That's that's good. Go over by the trees, dummy. Pato is getting worse on needs. You're missing forest and tall leaf again, because none of you are over here. And I can't do nothing about it because you're idiots. You're literally so fucking dumb that I can't do anything about how dumb you are. Fantastic. Uh capture team. Just uh get up on these silos. Okay. Uh, research, Velociraptor. Get that done. Wait, was it not doable? Am I bet? Did I math this wrong? Oh, we don't have the logistics. Shit. Shit. Shit, really? We don't have the logistics on the existing geneticists? Are you fucking joking? God damn it. Didn't think about checking that. We can't do staff improvements either. Well, that is dog shit. Six ten three logistics. Forty seven two three two three three five. What do we need for logistics? Is a 335 actually good enough? Should be. All right, altruistic salary person comes in, I guess. What shit? So we have to do this first. Because we don't have, we can't get to the, even with the new person who's also three genetics, it's still not enough. Nine, three, two and two. All right, um, you can rest. We'll put the eight on fossil duty. Hello, banana. How's it going? Trope, trope, trope. More trope there, more trope there. Okay, we got trope all over the place. Let's do the twos, clear out as much space as we can. Actually, can be the faster synthesis guy here. That's fine. I'm doing good. Better if I can sort out all these coelophysis. Okay, I think we'll pause the recording for a little bit while I keep dealing with the silos since we got the big research project running here. Research is done. Uh, let's take a look at our scientists here. We needed, I forget what we needed specifically. Genetics for Velociraptor, but I forget specifically. Um, well, I guess I don't forget because we never figured out exactly who we want to do that with. So we're at eight. We need 18. I think it's worth putting, wait, where's my go here? This one to nine, because nine is a magic number for genetics. Basically every increment of three. This guy actually has no point. The new hires don't even get points from this research. That's awful. That's 17 right there. Oh yeah, but we're missing logistics. Okay, so nine, five, and any three. But this guy actually has logistics, so that's fine too. Let's put the five to a six on genetics. Whoops. I think we'll be using the zip lines for the large carnivores. Uh, since the raptors are going to go deep in the park, unfortunately. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, because this guy doesn't have points. Duh. I'm clicking where the train button is, but he doesn't have points, so it just sends me to the research menu. Distracting. Paying the streamer tax there. Um, shoot. Maybe we just push him to a 10 then. Screw it. Specialize him further. Yeah, we're not using monorails. We could put a Jeep in and then have um, zip lines, but then we need all the requisite amenities to go with that to keep rating up. So that's kind of rough. I think we'll just have the raptors on the tour, and that'll be enough. The cars can drive through the raptor pen. It should be safe. Safe-ish. Why did I go this tab again? What am I doing? Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Brain bad. Brain being very bad. Uh, one, three, three, five, eighteen. Perfect. One million eight. So that is, is that the last one we had to research? 
we we're working on trope we've researched tyrannosaurus and that's velociraptor so that's it that's it for the randomized dinosaur the park build raptor is the last one we might want to consider firing some of those scientists afterwards honestly that probably would be prudent although if we have 30 million dollars i feel like it's not that bad so i'll have to think about it if we get rid of some dudes all right uh going back into pause mode i think because raptor's gonna take four and a half minutes oh we should do fossils too i might have done a batch or two off video i don't remember honestly i think i did um trumping nathus is getting close though not quite there yeah, because none of this is Traveling Nathus. We actually need to go do more digs, which we can do, right? Yeah, our logistics guy's not doing nothing. Please get me more fossils. Since we have multiple batches, I'm just going to optimize this. We'll do the Ceridactylus. We need to clear these out anyway. Okay, now we'll pause. All right, the great sorting of the Coelophysis continues. Many have been flagged for removal. We can fit about 10 or so in the enclosure we have set up, so we're not going to expand that. I'm happy with 10 to 12 being crammed in there. That seems perfectly acceptable. Um, actually, no, not complete. Yeah, we'll process this on whoever. You can take a rest. Do we have alternate? Okay, so we should have Tropinathus then, because that's actually complete. Let's start working Velociraptor. Their other logistics person is busy. Wait, why are they? Was it the one? No, I'm crazy. We didn't have a five logistics. Why am I? Why do I think we? Am I losing my mind? Oops. Man, I, I need a new computer mouse, too. Um, okay, I, I'm losing my mind. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Ketzes are pretty cool. They're pretty nice looking dino. Hard to find space for them in a park sometimes. Okay, there's some raptor fossils. We're processing. In terms of research, nothing else needed for dinosaurs. We do want... Uh, advanced hatch, uh, advanced uh, hatchery equipment for the aviary. We have to do that. Um, so we still have research to do, at least for that tier. Still have potential medical research to come up in terms of gene mods, maybe. But we're not going to push those. If they happen, they happen. Power, not really worried about. Yeah, we'll just let that stuff run. Okay. But then, yeah, I really can't get the Tropognathus in the park until we clear this section and can rebuild. So it's going to be a, a long episode from my perspective, not as long from yours on YouTube. Coelophysis are just about sorted, which means it's aviary time, so we should get up on that. Three welfare people actually is needed to do the aviary, which is wild, plus somebody else. Um, yeah, I guess it's you. And then we can send the nine out on raptor duty. Yeah, dig up the six. That's good. Fossil duty can be assigned to somebody then. We got... We still do have trope. Okay, let's let's continue to work on trope. Did I dig up... Wait, did I dig up a strictly a mono... I dug up a monolofo. I shifted to that. Wait, how did I pull that off? Oh, I think I... I know what it was. I, I panned past the mono to the Velociraptor, and then I went back, and then I clicked on mono on accident. Whoops. Well, whatever. That was a waste, but shit. Um, just finish trope, then. We'll leave a spot open here just to get trope. I made this done sooner. We could do some synthesis. I'm not sure I want to. I don't think I want too many pentas if they're going to be aggressive. We can't do more Coelophysis. The Herreras are at capacity. I don't think I want to do anything in here. Oh man, they were they were good for a moment. Actually, the Apatos are moving in the right direction to improve their territory, I think. Unless they're missing food. No, they're missing both, because they're dummies. You dummies, you little shits. Don't have a car nearby either. All right, fine. 
we get these guys off the ground, then we tear this paddock apart, basically, and rebuild it. So we cut it down, probably right where this gate is, for a long, narrow pentaceratops bend. And then this part gets completely redone. Oh, you woke up. Bruh. Don't do that. You're not supposed to wake up. What about... Oh, have I not done anything with you? Oh, I haven't done anything with you. Well, my bad. Uh, you get sold. You're nothing. You're a blank ass coelophysis. What's this one got? Small appetite? I guess it's technically not bad, but. Did they. Oh, they attacked a car. I mean, they only did 8% damage to the tour car, so it's not that bad. So small carnivores do attack cars. I wasn't sure if they would. Kind of sucks that they do, but the car shouldn't spend enough time in these small carnivore pens for it to be an issue. At least I hope not. Uh, did I not queue you up to be sold either? Okay. We're clearing out the skittish ones. Skittish dinosaurs have more of a tendency to starve, so we might as well just get rid of them. Comfort 96%. I... Well, we might want to hold on to this guy that's sedated and make sure we're not overselling. Ninety-four 94%. Let those two get properly hauled away. I like that the Coelophysis are knocking the cars all around here. That's really funny. Okay, you're just slightly under on forest, actually. Okay. Uh, we can fix that. We can fix that. Nope, don't panic. Don't panic. Little Coelos. That's not where the trees live. They're on the decorations tab. Of course. I am a fool. How about we do one bigger tree? Just one bigger tree, like right here in the oasis. 100%. Okay, who's the alpha? That's the next question to ask. Because if the alpha's wrong, we could fit more in here. Nope, that's, yeah, that's the alpha. That's what it should be. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Coelophysis, actually. That's pretty good. Pretty good. You've been sedated. You, unlucky guy, get sold. You're technically better than some of the other Coelophysis, but I don't care to go through the effort of moving them. So that should say 15 here. Yeah, 15. Okay, so 14 are staying. Um, so, I will work on the redesign here. Okay, we're, we're painfully close to finally releasing the Pentaceratopses. Let's get large power generators knocked out here so we can think about firing some staff soon. Yeah, the, everything that's 16, we need these four specifically for. So, do that. How many staff buildings do we have in this park? Wait, I forget what we were, were we doing anything with our scientists in particular? Welfare, logistics, genetics, welfare. No, we do have four. Um, have I been forgetting to do anything with that? We have a specialist facility here. You have a specialist facility. Is this a two limit park or not? Yes, this is the two staffs in a park. Okay, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. This is what we're doing. Uh, park is expanding here a little bit. This is going to be another smaller separate enclosure at some point. The tour is connecting through this pen. Which also has a zip line coming off. And this will be where the pentaceratops hang out. So we got our first little park zip line. Uh, it looks like they zip from here to here. Uh, great. No restaurant demand because there's nothing for them to eat. Oh, these are transport. Zip lines count as transport. That's something we didn't know. That's good to know, actually. So you can actually have a part of your park that the only way people can reach it is by taking the zip line, which is hilarious. Also means we really want a zip line over here to fix transport rating interesting for sure we'll do that we'll put a zip line over there eventually not yet but eventually uh so i think we're good thinking if there's anything else i need to do here no i think the pentas can come out all right pentaceratops welcome welcome not bad looking i really like the frill that's a really nice looking frill the base body is a little bland looking That's not bad. I'd buy your action figure pentaceratops. Actually, that's not true, because they do have a pentaceratops action figure, and I 
deliberately didn't buy it. I am a filthy liar. And we do need to process fossils. Um, forgot about that. Everything here is junk. Oh, the expedition's blocked. Yes. Problem for sure. Four, four. Four and six, I guess. Goddamn. Awful. We'll use the slightly faster person. So the pentaceratops here. It has five horns. Okay, you need ground leaf. First things first, we'll do that. We'll meet the ground leaf need. We'll put a nice strip of ground leaf uh, heading over to the to, to the tower, right? That way they can see, you know, all the nice uh, pentas hanging out. This pen might be too small for the, this amount, maybe. Might be. We can expand it somewhere. What's our alpha look like here? I don't remember anymore. Social. Tolerant. Social aggressive. So we should have a social out. Oh, but it's weak. Well, let's actually look at this. 121 dom. 131 dom. So the 131 is the alpha. Or gonna be the alpha. Which is not, damn, not social. That sucks. Well, they're moving around. I mean, it's creeping up there. It might be able to work. This might be. Five might be perfect. It's it's getting there. It's getting there. They got area. It's painfully close to being okay. We can always extend, like, a weird little projection here to the roadway or something. That would work. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um... All right, then we need to get the aviary in here. So what are we going to do with the aviary? Actually, I might want the aviary on the tour. Now that I think about it. Mm, but how would we do that? I want the So I want the aviary down here because I want it to connect up to the main section of the park. But if we want it on the tour, that's not going to be an option. Hmm. A conundrum. We could move the zip line away from where it is somewhere else, but I actually kind of think I like the idea of where it is right now for transport reasons. I guess I guess we don't put the aviary then on on the tour. In which case, maybe I do AV and viewing galleries just for aesthetics. All right, well, if we're going to do an AV area, let's get the dome in. So the dome could go in over here. It's probably about where I want it. Um, that's not the position I want it in, so it has to rotate. So the arrow is not the connection point, it's the other thing. Is it like that? Kind of. Sort of. Like that. Uh, and then if we put the hatchery in. No, that puts the hatchery at a weird angle. You son of a bitch, aviary. Why do you never align to the grid properly? Starting position. One rotation, two rotation, three rotation, four rotation to down here. Wait, so do we do one rotation? That doesn't look straight either. Do I, have to, do I really have to do like a half rotation to actually make this work? Because that's bad. I shouldn't actually have to flatten this. I don't think, I don't think it actually matters for the aviary. Okay, right, so we still can't fit. Still too close to the water. Um, what about the hatchery? So now it's at like a perfect angle. Yeah. So like one, two rotations would make sense. I am deeply, deeply confused by the aviary dome placement. I'm not going to lie. Unless it's doing some ass thing where it doesn't align to the grid properly in this build. We've seen it align before. But like, so one rotation, two rotation. Let's try that. Two rotations. Try two rotation dome this time. We'll just do that. We'll do this systematically. 
One step at a goddamn time. So that... So three rotations might work. And we're not going to build all three domes until we actually get it in properly. So one, two, three. Three rotations. Put the dome in. Closure, hatchery. No, it's, it's back the other way now, too far. So two rotations and not quite three rotations because you're the, the devil aviary. You're literally, you were the chosen one aviary. You were meant to align with the park, not betray it or some shit. So I guess we do this. Wait. I think it moved. Wait, I'm deeply confused. Because the arrows don't align left to right anymore. Do I have to rotate it? No, no, it's still off. God damn. Okay. Whoo boy, that's a lot of that's a lot of circles. We're not doing so good here on this aviary nonsense. If I do that, and then I do that. I, I think that does snap back to essentially the same place. Okay, so one, wait, one, two. Maybe we want to align that arrow actually like that. I don't think that's right. I'm losing, I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. No, that is right. Wait, why does that arrow actually align now? Right? What did I do to make that? Was I putting it on the wrong side of the aviary too, which is why it wasn't snapping in a way that aligned? Because this one would be slanted when this one's straight. I don't think I was. I don't think I was doing something so amateur. Well, this should work. Site manager sick. Uh, we're nowhere near ready to build this anyway, so that's fine. I'm willing to take a little extra time. Uh, that don't seem entirely straight, does it? No, let's do it. Let's do it like this. We'll do it from here first, so it's straight. And then this bit can be slightly crooked, and it's a little less noticeable because you don't see the connection. The T junction is perfectly straight. It's only the little side path that's crooked, slightly crooked. Okay, can we get two more domes on this bastard now, where it lies? No, because it actually angles out like that now. Fuck my life. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, well, we figured out the method. So I'm going to pause the recording while I fight an aviary for 30 minutes straight. After much pain, the aviary is in position. Uh, let's get the Tropognathus ready to synthesize today. Uh, we're looking for... So I need my little window back, which got buried. We're looking at SVLI's Fallbard. Lethal baits. Oh man, why couldn't we have one of these fancy colors? Uh, a G on quenched. A C. Nice countering. I like to see that. G A C A A C C A C C. So that's all we can do. Let's get the first batch. The hatchery has been upgraded. Um, so that's good. Faster synthesis guy? Sure. Just churn it right out there. Don't mind that. Get another batch of fossils processed, because of course I haven't been doing this while I've been looking at other stuff. Um, so there's that for you. We had to extend the pentapen out a little bit, but it's not so bad. It just comes nice and out to the path, so you can just take a direct look right at the aggressive pentaceratops right in here. I don't think that's too bad. That's, uh, that's the kind of thing you might see in a park for real, right? Health 75%. Were you dueling? Yeah, you're recovering. You're fine. Humble week. Interesting. I mean, they won't maintain... Oh, no, it looks like they already lost alpha. Social aggressive week. Well, you're not the one I expect to be either, actually. Oh, no. The territory is actually not good now. Because the alpha, when, when we set it up, it was with a different alpha. All right, so we're still going to play with that. Crap. Can I put a gate in here? That would work. 
Okay, if we put a gate in there, we can just do this. No, you son of a bitch. Okay, so that's too close to the border there. We do this. Pain is pain is pain is pain. We could also wait and let them actually like decide alpha for real for goods. Stop, stop snapping, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I gotta be near the map edge to make it not snap, but then it, wait, that works, nice. But then it uh, doesn't align properly. What was that weird thing there? Oh, shit, uh, okay, do this, do this. That goes to there, this comes to here. Perfect. Perfect. That's a little extension. That'll help with their needs. The car should still be able to maneuver this corner. It should be fine. Now, the pen is already weird and jaggy, so I don't mind doing this. It actually looks better because this is really oddly wavy in there. So, actually, I, I see this as a net gain overall. Okay. Um... Two viable eggs, social nocturnal, and just a regular one. That's not bad. Not bad at all. These guys both need a break. Oops. Seven, eight, nine. Sure. Do that. I need to purge scientists soon, I think. Because um, eight is just too many. But right now, money's not suffering. Although, I mean, it will if we get a Rex. That gets expensive fast. <sighs> Ground leaf and forest. A little forest, a little ground leaf. Actually, they don't have this corner in their territory right now either anyway, so it also might be part of the problem. Also, I don't know if this counts as trees if it doesn't actually get in any trees. That's another consideration. Let's do a little bit more of that, and then let's do this over here where there's no actual gap for trees and that should be better overall i think okay so yeah they lost forest need there so it definitely was actually functioning where there were trees but whatever plenty of margin on ground leaf now actually yeah. i i don't know it's fine there we go yeah, I like that balance. That's not bad. Okay, cool. There's that. Uh, you need oops, fuel. Again. Burned through a ton of fuel, fuel dealing with single fices. Let me tell you that. That was a nightmare. Oh, hey, Realm. How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, fossils are done. Let's get another batch of fossils taken care of. And then let's wrap this episode up here. Surprisingly, not enough for fossils to return from the uh, the dig that's blocked either which is rough. These are all such high um, totals on these pterosaur fossils that we just process them in sets of two. We could do, we could get rid of cheaper research. Switch over to the hatchery thing. It's a million bucks, but it's probably worth it. Especially when we get into tyrannosaur fossils and raptor fossils. I think it's probably something we should do. Sealed devices are still good. That's great. So we haven't, don't have to worry about the alpha changing there and causing issues. Okay, let's end this episode here then. Till next time.